Hi people, in today's video you'll watch the mass sensor being cleaned, a throttle body being cleaned, and a K&N air filter being cleaned. When to do this? If your vehicle is experiencing poor fuel economy, hard to start, stalling, or the performance is suffering, it's time to look at one of these three things. Now this particular vehicle had been stalling quite a lot recently and been using a bit more fuel than what it usually does, so it was a perfect candidate for this treatment now. It all just begins by removing the airbox and any of the associated tubing in and around the MAF sensor. Also the MAF sensor wiring needs to be unplugged as well. As always, whenever you're dismantling your car, just lay out all the components in a neat order so that you can reassemble it in the same way. Once everything has been undone, it's time to remove the airbox. This gives us the first glimpse of the actual air filter itself. And we can see here that this one is absolutely filthy. With everything now removed, let's get on to cleaning the MAF sensor itself. Now MAF stands for Mass Airflow Sensor. This is what measures the amount of air going into the engine. To clean the internal parts of the sensor, you're going to need a product similar to this one. It is specifically designed for cleaning mass airflow sensors. After reading the instructions on the can, what you need to do here is spray the two or three filament wires that are inside the MAF sensor. These often get contaminants on them, and this MAF sensor cleaner removes those contaminants, ensuring the correct resistivity through these wires. Back now to the air box, I have a K&N air filter, which means it can be washed and replaced. If you have a paper type filter here, you just pull yours out, throw it away and replace it with a new one. This one is particularly dirty. We can see on the inside that it is a little bit cleaner on this side, so the filter has been doing its job. After removing the filter from the air box, you want to have a good look at the rubber seal around the outside. This is obviously going to be reused, um, so I want that rubber seal to be in good condition. This one particularly looks very oily. I believe it was over oiled last time it was reinstalled. To clean the filters today, I have brought K&N's own cleaning and oiling products. I just feel that if it's a K&N filter, I should use K&N products to clean it. Now I'm not endorsing their products in any way. I've just used them over the years and found them to be good quality products. This is like a degreasing spray. Give it a really good soaking. I'm soaking it from the dirtier side first. Then I flip it over and soak it from the clean side and let this sit for a good 10 minutes or so, but don't let it dry out. After the cleaner has been soaking for a while, it's time to get a hose and rinse it out. Now I'm starting from the cleaner side, forcing the water back through the dirty side. Now this should flush the contaminants out rather than trying to flush the contaminants through the filter. This just makes sense to me to do it this way. I used plenty of water and got in there and gave it a really good clean. You can see as I'm going through here that the dirt is just starting to pull away and the filter in itself is quite a white filter underneath all that dirt. Make sure that you flip it over and do both sides. You may have to put more of the degreasing solution on there if the dirt won't come out. But when you're finished, the filter should look quite white and clean. And again, you should be inspecting for any damage or concerns when you reinstall it. Once you've washed it out, I just sat mine out in the sun for a few hours to dry. Do not rush this part, it does take a while to dry it off. While the filter is drying, it's on to cleaning the throttle body. Now I'm using a product here called Throttle Body and Carby Cleaner. It's been a long time since I've cleaned a carburetor, but I use this all the time for cleaning throttle bodies. Again, read the directions on the can, but it is just a matter of spraying all those deposits that are on the throttle body and that they just dissolve away so very quickly. You do want to avoid spraying an excessive amount because it does run down into the intake. Once you've given it a good clean off with the spray, I get a shop towel and just try and dry it out there and make sure that I haven't missed any parts. It comes off quick and easy, but if it doesn't, you might need to give it a second application or maybe even a small brush like a toothbrush to clean it right out. Here's a quick before and after picture. Now we want to have a look at oiling the K&N air filter. Remember what I said before, if you have a paper element filter, you do not need to do this at all. Just begin by spraying along the pleats. You'll see that the spray has a very pinkish red color to it. Allow time for the material to absorb the oil that you're spraying. Do not over spray this. And you want to spray this on the side of the filter that will catch the dirt. Now you're done. You're ready to put this all back together. Just remember, reinstallation of your airbox and MAF sensor is just the reverse operation of what you pulled out before. 
Here's me, it just took a little bit of fiddling to get it back together. But one of the most important parts here is we have to make sure that all the air hoses are done up tight and that MAF sensor is plugged back in. Once everything's back together, it's time to start up your engine and take it for a little drive. Just be aware, it may have a little bit of a cough and a splutter when it first starts up, as there may be some residue of that throttle body cleaner still around. And also the ECU will need to readapt and learn the new conditions of the air filter and the MAF sensor. As always, I like to have a little extra for those people staying right to the end. Notice here when I was cleaning the throttle body out with some paper towel, I removed the towel to find that a large amount had got wedged in there and it was a pain to get out. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Remember, leave a comment or question below. I will respond to every single one of them. Don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button. You can also find me on Instagram. I'm putting two pictures up every single day. Check me out there as well. Thanks for watching.